for my new arrows then. Got some Simon Whitlock limited edition here. Right, got the profile stems. Let's get these out. Get three. Very nice colour, purple, very bright. Very good, and then you come with come with flights, and then you come with a four, um, three pro group stems. Very nice. These are the 24 gram version. And there's the last one. Very cushy. Let's put these out together then. Here are the barrels. To describe the grip figure, they are very feel very nice. Especially the divot bit, very, very comfortable. The back bit feels a bit sticky because of the paint. But the front bits are very, very nice. Very good grip. Can lock my fingers perfectly on those. And plus they come with a point protector, which means I can group these better if I actually have some good arrows. So let me just... Um, Let's put these together quickly. I'm just going to do it inside the point protector. So the pro grip stems will go on with a bit of grip. I mean, pro, pro force. Not really keen on these stems, but they're the supplied setup, so I guess I'll use them for a bit. And plus, the flights are very sturdy, 100 microns, so they'll last a bit. And I'm going to put a flight protector on them if I can get one on. Oh well, no, I've got the tapered, I've got the bull nut, I've got the thingy on the trident point protector. So, oh, I forgot to get an up-close view on the point. Point very nice and sharp there, very good quality from Rimmar. Let's have an up-close look at the barrel. Focus, if it wants to. So here's the barrel. Start straight, then just wanted to focus. If I get the camera to focus. There we go. So we got it a little bit focused. So it's got like a rigid grip to it. A nose cone there. With a bit of a straight bit and a nice little straight bit. I'll probably be gripping it on the uh, the divot, where the divot is probably where Simon would grip these, but you don't actually use these darts. It comes with the pro shaft stems, and I'll just go and put the flights on now. So the flights, good quality, wind mal, feel very good. Just gotta get them nice and straightened. Pro force stem, very nicely. Open. This is what you're looking for for a flight here. Like a little bit of a Z shape, which is very nice. Purple and white. Bit of pink as well, I'd say. A bit similar to the barrel, but the barrel's just pur purple. So here we go. Let's put the first one in. Hopefully, you go in comfortable because I've had a problem with pro pro four stems in the past. Oh, these are going in much better. Better than the um, Paul Nicholson's and the, and just exactly the same as the Merv. Right, very comfortable dart. This is my grip for these arrows. Probably be gripping at the back of the um, thingy, kind of a mid grip. Then I'll try and do my front grip. A bit like here, a bit tighter though, a bit tighter with my front grip. That might be where I'm gripping it. So I, I might put them in the divot, which I do like the feel of the divot. Lovely little bit of grip in there. And then I can lock my finger under this little ridge bit and I can tilt it up if I want so I can throw my arrow. Let me just finish putting these together and then I'll put the camera on and let's get a throw with these. Very good quality. Oh, and they also come with the normal windmill stuff. Your box here with, with a good picture of Simon telling you about all the technology, telling you about the new grip technology on him. And if you want to read that, you can do now. It comes in this little case where you can plop your thing in. This is great because so, it doesn't stab your chest. So you can put that in your thingy, you can put that in like, I'll do an example, you can put that like in your pocket like that, like in my Harrow's pocket here, and then, yeah, you cushed it. So at the moment we won't be reviewing these because these only cost about two quid, very good value for money, I'd recommend them.
but let's just get the um, other two flights popped open. Then I'll go have a chuck with the 24 gram steel tip Simon Whitlock special edition darts. I'm hoping these, these will probably be my match darts for quite a long time, these. Simon Whitlocks. I was thinking about getting the other Simon Whitlocks, but I like the look of these. They do cost about 43 quid on the market, but I haven't thrown them yet, so I'll tell you when I'm throwing if it is worth it. Because they are a bit pricey, considering the Mervyn Kings are a really nice dart, 30 quid. Would recommend that for maybe like a starter. Oh dear. Got to be careful here with this one. I'm going to try another one because I'm scared about this flight breaking. Because that one was just being a bit finicky. It's all lined up perfectly. Can I please just... No, 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 don't shake. If I lose this, I get annoyed with the stock supply set up. Because if I break them... I won't have the sock supply set up, which doesn't really bug me because it's target. Because windmill stems are not good for stuff like that at all. Which does not help at all. Sorry about the blurry view. And I'll get to in with these as soon as I possibly can get them opened all straight and nice. There we go, second one is open. I'm just going to plop it in there. There we go, now come on, get in. Sorry about this. Let's try this one again. There we go, it's in. Just takes a bit of time getting them in because I'm very cautious about breaking these. Jory of the weight, guys, it's in the centre of the barrel. Perfect for a middle gripper. I'm of a back gripper, so I'll grip it like this. That. Or maybe even this. But that, I don't really like. Let me just get this last fly um, nice and thingy, stretched out and everything. And we can get the, the throwing started with the 24 gram Prison Force Simon Whitlock darts. So be one of these darts are replacing my old math darts. The Winmau... Mervyn Kings. Sorry, Merv. Love them darts. Beautiful. I've had them for ages. They last a lifetime. Good, but the stems are a bit broken. Right then, guys. I have finished setting up the Winmau Simon Whitlocks. So let's go have a chuck. Right, guys, yeah. a couple of chuck with the Winmau Simon Whitlock now. The Simon Whitlocks. So let's get started. Good start. Mm. They're going far. Very sharp points. Very sharp points. Struggling. First dart went in the trouble five and one in a trouble five. Going far. Really, really far. Right, guys, I'll show you why I'm gripping the barrel. Started off gripping it about there, where the little divot is. Change my grip more to the front now. That feels. I'm going back to the middle. That feels better. One more throw with these lads. Oh, 
finish it off with a two. And you know what? One more throw, guys. With the one mile. So I'm going to look like that. So it's decided to come out. That's a mile off. That's a better way to end it. Right guys, that is my review on the Windmill Sam Whitlock darts. End it with a 58, not bad. I believe these will be my new match darts. Really good grip, really nice, really enjoying throwing them. Just got to find out where I'm going to grip them because when I grip them at the front, the way I throw, the only problem with them is they do stand up a bit with the way I throw so I might have to get used to that or I might have to just grip them round here maybe somewhere about there you know what I'm gonna have one gonna have one last throw throwing them like that throwing them like in them one of the bridge fingers oh yeah they feel much better that's much better 100 that's a great way to finish so I'm just holding it just above the ridge now. That's where I normally grip and it's going so straight, beautiful, them last few darts. Very good way to end it, almost the 180. I'll have one more throw with them. And you know what, I'm not gonna, cause I end it in style, eh? Well guys, that is my review of the Windmouth Simon Whitlock darts. Cheers, Civvy.